the nation. He promised black voters things would be different. You've always had my back, and I'll have yours. But six months after Biden was sworn into office, some black leaders say they worry that a familiar pattern could play out again. Oftentimes when we're engaged in this process, it's a sense of urgency of what we need when there's an election. But then once there's a result, it seems that our issues are always put to the back burner. That's Latasha Brown of Black Voters Matter. Groups like hers have been pushing the White House to fight more forcefully to protect voting rights, as Republicans have passed a wave of laws at the state level that will make it more difficult to vote, especially for black people and Latinos. Biden has warned that these Republican efforts are the most significant test of American democracy. But activists say there is a contrast between the urgency of Biden's language and his opposition to changing procedural rules so the bills could pass with a simple majority. You can't say all of that and then say, oh, but by the way, that filibuster is more important to me. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's not having our bags. That's Cliff Albright of Black Voters Matter. But what it means to have the back of black America and what political issues are key to black voters changes depending on who you talk to. Black leaders and activists pointed to Biden's investments in historically black colleges, the increase in the child tax credit intended to dramatically reduce childhood poverty, as well as the racial diversity of Biden's administration.